Well, the game plan was for him to go up there a little bit higher ground and see what he could do. Uh, I'm shocked that he made it down through here. Last time I walked in that ground, I got my tennis shoe all messed up. And, uh, I don't know, it's starting to get interesting. Yeah, that was fun. Just find out if I hurt my combine. My foot slipped off the clutch and I yanked it. And I kind of hate that. We'll find out in a minute. When he gets back up there, he's going to start on that high side and see if he can roll up through there. I mean, the machine still runs. I just hope I ain't messed up the thrashing on it when I yanked it. Combine's fragile. There's only one thing on that combine you can chain to to pull on it, and that's the front axle. And the first attempt to pull it out, start pulling it sideways, and uh, started going kind of like that, and that wasn't working. So cousin's idea, what I was listening to, I had to get the picture in my mind, was we ran the chain underneath the combine to the axle over here on this side, and that walked it out pulled it out but when my foot slipped off the clutch it yanked it pretty bad so I wasn't too happy about that well now I got three things out here I got 4020 tractor sitting over there combine over there and truck up there and only two people to drive them but we kind of figured that's what was going to happen today and let's see if he can walk walk through this that's good, that was some good, pretty thick beans in there. If they'd have come out of the field back in November, that's some 60 plus bushel area right there. And let's see, he's gonna start going uphill. Interesting. tell for sure whether he's in them or not all right I got dust out of the back of the combine so yeah he's in them I see water on the tire forward movement still fairly consistent all right after pulling the thing out of the mud I called my wife on the cell phone she said yeah there's coffee come get some Cousin is still rolling down here. I can see some ruts he's made, but like I said, he is very, very good at biting it on through. I wish he'd swing up by the truck this time and unload that hopper. Well, this is going to be the second offload on what I'm dubbing playing in the mud day. These are these haven't been uh, full hoppers, but half of that hopper is a lot of weight. There's a lot of arguments about how many beans that hopper will hold, how many bushels. Uh, I think it's 35. I mean, there's different configurations on these 3300. Some of them with the rails that come up on them taller than that, and a, a taller center uh, auger. They're listed at 55. But this is a small one with the really small rail. Yeah, that was a little piece of load, but that will get the weight off the combine. All right, get the auger back in. Well, after we, you know, got unstuck, Cousin's been working on this spot down through here, and you can see where things went in. Now, this is interesting. That's how much water's in the ground. When he squished down there, that water came up and filled that up. Let's see. I can make it look... There, it's all flat.
just rut after rut after rut. This is like 2015, except he went up and down the hill and made the ruts that year. All right, he's in it now. Let's see. on watching that tire it's come back up but it was down real good there for a little bit yeah the ground dries out right over there but where he was sinking down was just like these ruts right here like right there and there. You got no turning power. You try to turn and it just don't do. You can tap the brakes, but when you're busy spinning, you don't tap the brakes. You want to keep moving forward as best you can keep moving forward. 